Hey everyone, um, recently I came across a question published in the April 8th exam of the Singapore and Asian School Maths Olympiads or the SASMO. Now, the question was actually very simple. It stated that the Albert and Bernard had just become friends with Cheryl and they want to know when her birthday is. Now, Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates. You can see those dates on the screen. Now, Cheryl tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and day of her birthday respectively. Now, you have been given some conditions and at the end of those conditions, you have to tell me when Cheryl's birthday is. Now, this question actually became vital. So, let us try to solve it. Now, a uh, few things to consider. See that Albert has been told the month and Bernard has been told the day. So, given the sample data of both Albert and Bernard, we find that Albert has May, June, July and August. Whereas Bernard has 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 as his samples. Now me consists of the dates 15th, 16th and 19th. June has 17th and 18th. July has 14th and 16th and August has 14th, 15th and 17th. As for Bernard, 14th is present in July and August. 15th is present in May and August. 16th is present in May and July. 17th is present in August and June, 18th is placed in June and 19th is placed in May. Now pardon my jumbling of the order of 17th for Bernard, but anyway you can understand what it means. So let us look at these questions. Now first Albert states that he might not know when Cheryl's birth is, but he knows that Bernard does not know it too. Now Bernard does not know it too is the vital part here. Now let us look at this. If Bernard had the dates 14th, he could have known, 15th known, 16th known, 17th known. But if he had the dates as 18th and 19th, he would not have known when Cheryl's birthday was. So, let us scratch those out from Bernard's list. And similarly, 18th of June and 19th of May will be scratched off from Albert's list too. Now, let us look at the second criteria. When Albert stated that he even does not know when Cheryl's birthday is, so, if he didn't know, now, uh, May has the two possible options left, 15th and 16th, June has 17th, July has all of his all of it left and August does too. Now, uh, June has 17th left. So, if June 17th was um, Cheryl's birthday, Albert could have known it. But Albert himself stated that he didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was. So, June 17th goes out of the list. Scratch that from Bernard's list too. Now comes the most vital part of this question. Look when Bernard states that at first he didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was, but after Albert's statement, he does know it now. So let us look at Bernard's sample letter now. 14th has July and August, he didn't know it then, he doesn't know it now. 15th has May and August, he didn't know it then, doesn't know it now. 16th has same also, didn't know it then, doesn't know it now. But look at the 17th. 17th has August and June. Now, previously he didn't know that uh, August and June, which could it be? But after Albert's statement, he now knows the 17th of uh, uh, June can't be the date. So, the remaining date is the 17th of August. And as it's clear now, 17th of August is Cheryl's birthday. So, that was all for the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.